But yeah, so like I can't lift this arm more than here, which is kind of annoying because I'm an idiot and I also just want to go and like hulk out of it. Am I doing anything productive for the interview tomorrow? No, no, I'm just thinking about it. Can't start anything else though. That's the law. I don't make the rules. ADHD does. Holes, holes are going to be fixed, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do real closures because I don't wanna, I don't wanna. All right, y'all, this week you are getting a selfie video intro because we do not have time to mess around. Uh, why don't we have time to mess around? Um, it's because I I uh, spent the last weekend messing around when I, when I shouldn't have been. By messing around, I mean doing other stuff that I had to do and thus working on a costume piece was not the priority any, well, but I, I digress, I digress. What this means is that we have about like five hours, five hours to make this top. Not because I have to leave in five hours, but because if I don't finish this top in five hours, there is absolutely no way, no way that I will be able to finish the other things that I need to do before I leave. Also for reference, I leave in two days, two days. It is currently 11.45, nope, it's 11.25, I'm good at time. It's currently 11.25 on Monday and I need to leave at noon on Wednesday for my flight and it's time it's time i gotta get it done i can't i can't put this off anymore so it is time what is this i haven't told you what this is i'm so good at this i am making a lena targaryen cosplay from the house of the dragon and i am kind of cheating because i already have uh, this cosplay over here so this is my naja cosplay and as you can see when you look at what i have here what Lena wears is basically the same fabric if you like squint and tilt your head and that's what I'm doing. I'm squinting and tilting my head and I've decided that Lena wears the same fabric and thus I am just going to make a different bodice for her. But step one, step one we have to figure out if I do actually have enough fabric left because um, last I saw it was all in scraps on my floor in a corner and then I had shoved them deeper into a corner so now I don't actually know. But uh, let's go find out. So here it is. This is what's left of the fabric from what I used to make Naja, and this is exciting because it's a lot more than I thought it was. This is, this is not the right fabric. That's, yeah, that could go there. And yeah, no, well, well okay, okay. So it's actually only this. This makes a lot more sense. I thought, I thought that pile, there was like more hiding under there. Okay, so this makes, this makes sense. We can work with this. We can we can make this happen. This can happen. I believe in us. We need to get two sleeves and then a bunch of ruffle out of this. Because what I'll probably just do is I will make the Naja bodice itself like interchangeable and stuff. This is this is a good plan. Here's the Naja bodice. It is not closed in the back because I was safety pinning it closed, but I digress. But like look, look, brilliant plan, right? Just take off all the black add sleeves in the gold and then do a ruffle on top and I can like pin it together with straight pins to actually wear it because historical accuracy not laziness what and that way it'll be perfectly switchable outable for this version as well and then I could be Lena and then I could be Naja and then I could just pin things differently ta-da perfect amazing that's it, that's my plan and I'm sticking through it. Should probably hem these sleeves. <sighs> so unfortunately I have some bad news and the bad news is that I have um, yet to actually work on anything. Um, why, why is that you might ask? Well, you see, I, um, I have an interview tomorrow and because of that, I cannot do anything today because I'm too busy thinking about the interview tomorrow. Am I doing anything productive for the interview tomorrow? No, no, I'm just thinking about it can't start anything else though. That's the law. I don't make the rules. ADHD does. So I'm not saying it's 8 p.m. tomorrow, but um, it's definitely 8 p.m. tomorrow. I did that thing where I looked at the pile of stuff and I was like, don't wanna, don't wanna. And, and here we are. And I need to be out the door by noon tomorrow. And it's 8 p.m. right now. So, uh, <sighs> Let's, let's get this done. We got no choice. We gotta do it. But first I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. Cause, cause we gotta hydrate. Woo! 
that seriously might be like an awful record of the longest time it's taken me to actually start sewing stuff before I did the thing. But the worst part is, it actually isn't. It's just the longest time I've taken to show you guys it. But now to business. Y'all just saw me seam rip the velvet portion of the Naja bodice off of the main bodice. And then I decided, you know what? It's time to serge these edges so they stop fraying. So I surged all the bodice edges and I actually went back and I surged the skirt edges too, like a good sewist. Okay, so I threw up my corset and don't worry, I'm not bare skinning it underneath. I've got a tank top on, but I just tucked it away. And um, I decided to go with the 1890s corset instead of the Edwardian, so the S-Ben 1900s corset because, well, honestly, I just didn't feel like dealing with hip padding and I wanted to wear this one because I haven't worn this one in a bit and I like it. But yeah, so I'm gonna uh, now pin the bodice on myself to make sure I do the neckline correctly because I need I want the neckline on the bodice to match the neckline on this corset or just be slightly above it. So I was super helpful and I already told you what I was doing in this clip so I don't really know what I'm doing in this voiceover. I'm just chatting you. How are you guys? How's everything going? You having a good time? You having a good day? Oh look at look at me contorting. It, that was that looked a lot more painful than it actually was. Oh, but here's here's some stuff that's actually happening. All right, now we're actually pinning that down and we're actually sewing that down. Um, how I'm gonna make this bodice transformable now, I, I don't have a clue, but, but that's what I'm doing. And here is where I start to make some sleeves. And in order to make some sleeves, you're gonna wanna cut like, you know, a tube of fabric that's about the length of your wrist to your shoulder. But like, if your shoulder just like disappeared for a second, because these ones are not on the shoulder for some reason. I don't mind though, it means no armholes, but, and we all know that armholes are the worst part. And then here, I'm just ruffling that ruffle that's gonna go uh, along the neckline and around the arms at the top. I'm gathering it, I'm not ruffling it. English hard. So I finished the machine sewing stuff on the bodice last night and I took a nap and now it is 8.45. 8.43 and I leave in, I leave at noon. I can't do that math right now for some reason. Three hours, I leave in three hours. I packed a bunch last night as well, so that's ready. So the great news about this is that it does look perfectly serviceable. It looks put together and great, except when you look at it, you'll realize that it is um, put together with uh, safety pins. And this part, you're looking at this and you're like, Mommy, that looks like sewed on and stuff, ha. Huh? Joke's on you, dear viewer, because that is safety pinned on. And this is the little loop that goes through the arm, so we're gonna then take the arm and sew it to the top of this. And also while I was wearing this, I realized that this is like, just a little bit too long and it's annoying. So I'm going to cut off this hem and then hem it down to here. And that is, that is the plan. Additionally, I also need to add some sort of closure to the back because when I wore it, I just safety pinned it like, like a criminal. And then there's like a whole bunch of like, I don't know, weird holes and stuff happening. So I should add a lace up something in the back, but honestly, that sounds, that sounds like a lot more work than I am emotionally able to do right now. So I'm probably just going to keep safety pinning it because, because I don't want to, that's, that's literally the answer. I'm probably going to keep safety pinning it because I don't want to, but I will go in and sew the little sections here where this part is coming off of this part because I don't want that. I don't want that. We're, we're allowed to fall apart, but not like fully fall apart. That's, those are the rules. So, so holes, holes are going to be fixed, but I'm not, I'm not going to do real closures because I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, no, I was a very specific, like, special genre of stupid for this video, because, like, 
I had forgotten somewhere in the process that like my whole plan was to not fully finish this and like make it so that this is detachable from this bodice so I could keep using this base bodice for Nadja. But like somewhere along the lines, I was like, no, we must finish it, precious. We must mix it perfect. And uh, yeah, then I ran around like a headless chicken for the last day trying to finish it. And then I was like, wait, no. Why are you doing this? You don't you don't need to do this. Hilariously though, the one thing that I actually needed to do, which was making this sleeve shorter, I didn't do. But are we really surprised? Are we surprised? No, not at all. The one actual thing that I want to do for this costume is add elastic to this section here and here. It's Cause like right now I can't really lift my arm. I can lift this arm more because I ripped out the ruffling stitches, but oh gosh, if I hold it here. I can't really lift. See, clearly my left hand is not my steady hand. But yeah, so like I can't lift this arm more than here, which is kind of annoying because I'm an idiot and I also just want to go and like hulk out of it. So I have to fix that and like I'm probably gonna like take out this rufflage and re-gather it but use elastic to gather it. So that way the elastic is what holds the gathers in place but I still have the flexibility to move. But yeah, so for now, um, it's all good. It's all wearable. It's all exciting. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, that is that is all I got for you today. Um, bye.